The fourth industrial revolution has come, and one of its focus is on the integration of physical systems with digital software. The digital twin is commonly known as the virtual and computerized counterpart of the physical system. The representation must include all the relative information to the system asset that can potentially be obtained from your real-world inspection and can be used to support various activities such as monitoring, maintenance, management, optimization, and safety. With the partnership of Altair and Acron, we study a ball balancing table, digital twin, in three steps. First of all, we have to choose the path that we would like the ball to trace. Choosing an image can be difficult at first, but when we think about a popular icon that is linked to advanced technology, one of the first references that comes to mind is Batman. Firstly, we imported the logo to Altair Indeed, and with these software tools and plugins, we could extract the X and Y coordinates of the image. Then we moved to the next software, Compose. It's similar to writing in your favorite programming language, and is very straightforward to use. We used to make an initial time vector and to filter our coordinates. Now we are ready to start to set up our simulation. As you can see in this template, the left part is meant to work with the coordinates. Then we have the controller options and the solving options. We are going to use the motion solving option for this. But if we had a ball balancing table, we could pick the first option and we would get the same results that the digital twin model. So we start by offsetting and scaling our graph to fit in a table. Then we use the filter to get a better path. We modify the time vector to change the ball velocity to get a smoother trace and a faster simulation. The resultant movement of the ball was closely mapped to the planned path indicated by the red line. After the simulation is complete, we take it to Inspire Studio to bring it to life. The procedure we used was as follows. We first load up the H3D file. Second, we choose an environment and select the materials to all geometries. And finally, we did a 3D camera path animation. Everything's ready, now we just need to render our video.